हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑफ गवर्नर जनरल्स ऑफ बंगाल नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू द फर्दर गवर्नर जनरल्स ऑफ बंगाल हु हैड प्लेड एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर द एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ द फर्म ब्रिटिश रूल इन इंडिया एंड वी शैल बी डिस्कसिंग द पॉलिसीज विच दे हैड अडॉप्टेड एंड वॉट वर द मेजर डिसीजन दैट वर टेकन ड्यूरिंग दैर टेन्यूअर नाउ if we see lord cornwallis during my previous previous video i had discussed that lord cornwallis he was the one who had responsible for the establishment of permanent settlement act or the zamindari system or the izardari system or the sunset law these are all things i had discussed in the previous video now here again one more name we come across who was the governor general of Bengal during the tenure 1793 to 1798 so he was the governor general of bengal now here sometimes the question asked or the question is framed in competitive examination along with lord cornwallis who played an important role in planning the permanent settlement act of 1773 so the person or the governor general who played an important role in planning the permanent settlement act was sir john shore sir john shore he was an important person or he was the governor general who played an important role in planning the permanent settlement act what we call it as the zamindari system or the sunset law and he was the one during his tenure he introduced first chapter act of 1793 that is the famous for its policy of non interference non interference in the state not interfering in the affairs of the local kings or the province distinct princely states and the third point or the third important point that took place during the tenure of sir john shore that is the battle of karla it was fought between the nizam and marathas when he was the governor general of bengal the first and the foremost question that comes in the examination along with lord cornwallis who was the governor general of bengal who played an important role in planning the permanent settlement act or what we call it as the zamindari system so you need to remember the name of sir john shore who played a very important role in planning the permanent settlement act the next governor general the next governor general was lord wellesley now if you look at the previous year nda question cds question the questions are asked from this topic who introduced the subsidiary alliance system who introduced the subsidiary alliance system or during whose tenure the subsidiary alliance system was introduced your answer should be lord wellesley so during the tenure of lord wellesley the subsidiary alliance system was introduced in british india now you need to understand what do mean by subsidiary alliance the subsidiary alliance it was the policy decision that was taken during the tenure of lord wellesley wherein the local kings or what we call it that the princely states or the princely kings or the local kings they were allowed to run their administration number 1 but they were forbidden to take certain decisions like the princely kings were allowed to have the army of their own but this army would be supplied by the british authorities or the british government and the payment has to be made from the exchequer of the local government or the princely kings matlab raja apni sena to rakh sakta hai the king was allowed to keep the army but that army will function under the command and the control of the british administration this army or the sena it was provided to the princely kings for their safety and security this was the restrictions these were the restrictions which were 
put up on the princely kings through the subsidiary alliance. Another important aspect of the subsidiary alliance was the local kings or the princely kings, they were not allowed to take up any administrative decisions. That means they were not allowed to take up war with the any adjoining kings or the local kings. They should seek the permission. They were not supposed to make any treaties with the local kings or the other king. That means they were suppressed like anything. For each and everything, they were bound to take the permission of the British Governor General. This was the subsidiary alliance. The several times the question had come in the previous year examination. Who introduced the subsidiary alliance system? Or the theory of subsidiary alliance was introduced by whom? It was Lord Wellesley. And the another question that comes in the examination, who was the first to accept the subsidiary alliance introduced by Lord Wellesley? The Nizam of Hyderabad, the local king or the princely king, he was the first one who adopted the subsidiary alliance system. That means Britishers ke adhin rahte huye raj karna. Har cheed unse poochna, that was the system of subsidiary alliance. So remember the children and the next one was Madras presidency was formed during his tenure, that is Lord Wellesley, fourth anglo Mysore war. This was fought during the tenure of Lord Wellesley which took place in the year 1799 and during this period Tipu Sultan had died. So these were the major events that had taken place during the tenure of Lord Wellesley. And second, Mara Anglo-Maratha War took place during the tenure of Lord Wellesley. Here, the points which I am discussing on each and every point, if you look at the previous year question, you will find that the questions were asked from these topics. In 1800, he set up Fort William College in Calcutta. This was again the question that had come in previous examination. Who established Fort William College in Calcutta? Your answer should be Lord Wellesley established Fort William College in Calcutta and he was known as the Bengal Tiger. He was known as the Bengal Tiger. The nickname or the pseudonym that was given to Lord Wellesley was Bengal Tiger. He brought the censorship on Press Act 1799. So, one more act that was introduced that the press censorship. That means the Indian press, they were not permitted to write anything against the British government. If at all anything is written against the British, censorship would be there. The Britishers had the power to censor the articles which were published, which are supposed to be published and prior permission was supposed to be taken. These were the four five points that comes in the examination as far as the Lord Wellesley's tenure is concerned. Generally, in the previous uh, this thing, any competitive exam, you get one question either from the Governor Generals of Bengal, the Governor Generals of India, or the Viceroys of India. Now, currently, we are continuing with the series of the Governor Generals of Bengal. In this series, just now we have discussed about the Lord Wellesley and what were the salient features, what were the points or the what were the administrative decisions that were taken during the tenure of the Lord Wellesley who was the Governor General of Bengal during the period 1798 to 1805. I hope you like the video. If you like it, please share and subscribe it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thanks dear.